Today I'm going to build Noah's Ark out of Lego and then test it in an actual flood simulation to see if it can withstand the elements. I've never built a Lego boat before, so we'll see how this goes. So the plan is to build up a giant Lego Ark out of bricks and stuff that's around 196 Lego studs long. And then I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of animals, two of a kind, and basically throw it in the pool to see if it'll work. So we'll grab some base plates and lay them out so we can start building this thing up. I'm going to try and make this Ark as realistic as I can, but I am ignoring the 300 cubits. I'm not transitioning that to Lego scale because then this thing would have to be like 9 feet long. But now, we need to start laying out the design for the very bottom of the ship. And I have an idea I'm going to integrate later on how to keep the water out so this thing will actually float. I think what I'm going to do is build a plate layer all the way across to make it really strong. All right, now that we got the main thing in place, we need to add a layer up and then out. So we'll basically do that all the way around. Look at that, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is add a layer of Technic bricks on the inside. This goes all the way down the spine and becomes the new spine of our boat. Notice how it sticks out vertical? That means it's strong. As you can see, it is very huge. And just so you guys can see this to minifigure scale, we also have our little guy, Noah, who's going to be instructing the build process. We also have a ton of animals to put inside this, and some of them are pretty big. Like, we got dinosaurs and stuff we'll put in here. But now I'm just going to build this up a little bit more until we get it about up to here, and then we'll put in our waterproofing. I'm really hoping this works, because if it does, this is going to be the sickest arc I've ever made. I've never made an arc before, so we'll see. So what I've been doing is basically making a plate. I had to use 6x6 six six plates here because it needs to come out that far on this first one. So now we lock it across here, and then we'll have to lock everything in to these braces. It's going really good. So what I realized before I started putting bricks on is that this is gonna fill up with water really quick if it's hollow, so I need to make it as full as possible. So I'm adding like plates, because I think one of the prerequisites of a boat is that it doesn't fill with water, so the more plastic in here, the better. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting extra stability on the front of the boat because, as you can see, it's not very sturdy. And I really don't want that breaking apart while it's in the water because that would wreck the entire thing. So thinking ahead is good. And on the front of these, I'm just moving the bricks up and out so that we get kind of the curved shape. It's not just all square and blocky and stuff. We're actually making a curve, but yeah, it is really, really coming along. It's huge. So as you can see, we've come a very long way on this arc. The problem, however, is that the edges are starting to bow out, so I need to get re-certifying pieces in there ASAP, which means now we can actually install our layer of plastic, or saran wrap, to actually keep it waterproof. Now, I think this will work really, really well. I think it'll stop enough water from getting in to where it'll float. And now we just pat this down and put the re-certifying layer on the inside. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a shot because I want this thing to actually float. Look at how much more sturdy this side is compared to this side. Okay, so it is day two, and as you can see, we have most of the covering on the plastic. And I actually went back and read the Bible, and apparently there's three layers to the Ark. The upper decks, the lower deck, and then the middle deck. Which means we gotta start lower than I thought, with the lower deck down here. Let's take some bricks in tan, and then I'm just gonna put these across the entire floor, so that we can start building the enclosures down here. So we're just continuing to build up these side areas. Literally so many bricks. I don't know how many bricks this is gonna be, but probably around eight to 10,000 because there's so many layers of different things. This is one of the biggest things I've built so far. And I think for the enclosures or stables, we'll just do a line of one by one bricks. And on top of that, we just use a bunch of one by four bricks. Boom, check it out. There's two enclosures right there. And then we just gotta do them all the way around here. And then for the animals, we have a bunch of them here. And we start assembling them and putting them on the bottom layer starting with this T-Rex. And you may be wondering, how come there's only one T-Rex? Actually, there's two. There's a little baby T-Rex right there. And that's kind of how I cheated for some of these. I bought the baby versions, because it'd be really hard to fit two adult versions of some of these creatures. But now that we got the T-Rex here, we can add water and food and start putting in the next ones. Don't ask me how they fed the T-Rex. Not for me to know, I guess, because I have no idea. We can add our sheep. We got some penguins. We can add our leopards, lions, triceratops. We got a couple bambies, and we got some alligators here. And since we got some big cats, we'll add some tiny cats. And there we go, we have the first level down with all the animals in place. And now that we got the first level in place, we need to actually build up plates on top of this so we can put on the next level. Put this right here. Cool. 
cool. So now we got the plates in place, we can just kind of cover up these back areas, add some stairs right here, and then we'll build the enclosures and details for this middle floor and add one more up here, which is where Noah will live. We're also going to build a roof up here using these base plates and we'll put plates on top of them. I'm not sure how the rain thing's gonna work, but we'll cross that road when we get to it. Now there's a ramp to get up there, and then to make the door actually open and close, as you can see, I built in these little Technic bricks earlier, thinking ahead, and I just built up this simple door using a couple brown plates. We just need to wait for it to hinge. We go to this pin, and then we can grab a couple of these, add some frictionless pins, and now, it's gonna fold down, and that's perfect almost. It's just a little not waterproof underneath there, but you know, it's whatever. We'll cross that road when we get to it. So I'm just gonna go up to this thing, and break this off. Because this has this piece, and now, now we have a perfect little door closer. Even though to be accurate, God closed up the ark, but whatever. Next up, we got our details to the middle floor here. And now I have all the enclosures built up on the top level. And they all have little water buckets. So now we can add our animals, like giraffes, and we'll give them some hay. We can add our Dilophosaur, and our little baby one. We can add our ostriches. We can put our calves in this corner. Then we can put in our bears right here. We got some llamas. Totally accurate to real life. Put our monkeys in this cage. And we can put our elephants in this big one right here. We also have our horses and the dogs. Then we can add our squirrels and our chickens. We also have two chameleon lizards we can put in here. And we also have some snakes and spiders, which we can throw in here. I don't think that's entirely accurate, but uh, <laughs> hey, I was running out of Lego animals, okay? <laughs> and there we have it. We have all the animals on the top level here. So that's like over 50 animals total for the entire arc. I love how the T-Rex is just up here, just like ready to eat anything that walks by. Super great design, I'm telling you. <laughs> over 12 hours we spent building this thing. It's absolutely huge, and I am so nervous that it's just not gonna float and it's gonna topple over. So all we gotta do is just build up the roof and the third level, and this thing will be ready to go. And now, as you can see, we have this plastic under this here, so the water will not leak out. However, we should add a couple little exit ports for the water so it can roll off. So I moved the arc off the table real quick because we need to build the roof. And since the roof has to be so big, my thought is we use base plates as a base and then put a layer of saran wrap in between and put our layer of brown plates so it looks like it's wood. Hopefully we have enough brown plates. <laughs> So I'm going through all my plates picking out the colors I could use because I actually ran out of large plates and I need to build a whole roof and a whole upper level of this thing. So that's not good. To actually avoid moments like this, you can check out this video's sponsor, Crazy Kai's Brickling Store because they have a ton of Lego parts in stock. They have really great customer service and they ship fast. I really like them. Check them out using the first link in the description so you can avoid scenarios like this. I'm not kidding. I actually am not sure how I'm going to do this with just these parts. Put our saran wrap over the top like this. We don't want a bunch of water getting in there. And then connect both sections of the roof on top of this. We use some of these little hinges and just put them up here. And we can flip this around, add another layer of saran wrap that overlaps this, and then keep going. Okay, so now we just hope and pray that this actually folds and doesn't break the plastic. That's basically it. And this will just sit right on top of the arc as the roof. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This thing's so heavy. <laughs> All right, now to build the top deck. I've left a little bit of this terrain wrap here because my plan is to build up a few layers of brick and then fold it over and cut it off. That way, any water that goes this way won't go through the wall. All the walls have leaks, so I have to <laughs> work through that. First, we just gotta build up two walls on the sides so that they can hold the roof in place. For the third deck, we're just gonna take some 16 by 16 plates and build a long thing across here on top of some pillars. And then we'll build a bridge that will go all the way up here and all the way across to the other door. Last step is just to build up Noah's quarters on top. Okay, I just finished it after over 18 hours of building, and here it is. As you can see, we got the top deck. The home of Noah and his sons. I only got three minifigures because I couldn't find enough beard pieces, okay? <laughs> but check it out, cool crib tour. They got some beds over here, dining table, vegetables, and meats. They eat right above the stench of all the other animals. That's nice. We got some water and accessories, and Noah right here. They can walk up the ladder, and then go up the ramp, and then go all the way through their abode, and then go down the other side. Now as you can see, that leads to the other door over here. So this is a really, really nice setup. Let's put the roof on though. Just grab the roof right like that, and it sits tight like that. After hours and hours of building tens of thousands of pieces, I assume, we get to take it off the base plate and put it in the pool and see if it'll flood. I'm 
I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna get in the pool. It's freezing out here. Ha! <laughs> We have here our arc, and basically I'm going to take it off this table and slide it into the water. And we're almost ready to go. I want to add one more thing, which is buoys. And these buoys just attach to the side here. Oh gosh. Now the scary part, we take off the base plates. <laughs> it's okay, that was just the roof. I made the first layer out of plates, and it's actually working pretty well. Oh gosh. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Will it float? I guess I'm gonna angle it, and then just uh, slide it off. In three, two, one. Oh, gosh. It's floating, let's go. Dude, okay, it's floating. I don't know if it's filling with water. I can't see on the inside. Dude, this is actually so sick. I'm just so psyched that this is actually floating and not sinking. So the first test we're gonna do is the turbulence test. So I'm gonna try and make waves and we'll see what happens. Let's make some simple little waves here. And I see that the door I made is probably just a little low. Now we'll make some big waves. Oh yeah. Now we're getting some waves. There is water in the arc. Probably from the door to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it, it's still floating, so I'd say that's a good wave test. I'd give it like a seven out of 10, considering the door's so low and the waves made their way inside. For the next test, we're going to do the wind test. See if we can make some windy conditions because you know, storms are pretty stormy. and We gotta do the full simulation. Oh yeah. Pretty big storm. <laughs> I mean, I'd say it's doing pretty good on the wind test. Like, it's working. <laughs> the third and final test is the rain test to see if this will hold up against rain and not completely sink itself because of all the water coming in. I worked really hard waterproofing this top part and I think it's gonna work pretty well. It's starting to rain and I'm getting out of the pool. <laughs> the rain's picking up, it's getting heavier. I don't know if that's official rain terms, but you can see the water conglomerating on the roof. That's a real word. Wow, I'm so impressed that this is still floating. Like, I, I thought it would completely topple over. Dude, it's actually working. This is sick. Or maybe it won't sink at all. And now the waves and the rain. I'd say that that's an absolute win. Dude, really? <laughs> I didn't even need those, let's go. Man, it just, it's not tipping over. We built an ark. I think the animals survived too. Let's give it a check here. Okay, so it's full of water in the bottom, but it's still floating and only the animals in the bottom drowned. So, <laughs> you know, the giraffes and the elephants and stuff, they're all still good because they're the highest up. But that's it, we built an arc and it worked pretty well. So huge thanks for watching. Check out the next video popping up. Finally, we're gonna do the ride test. Oh wait, I still have to take the thumbnail. Never mind. next time.